So now I'm going to make some changes to the program. Now I'm going to say from tkinter import star and then import SQL light 3. What that will do is it will set up things so that I can create a database, a SQL database. All right. The next thing I want to do is I want to create a class called app. Yes, that's what I want to do. Then I want to uh, I want to define the constructor. The constructor's name will be double underscore init double underscore. The first parameter here is always self. That's the the variable that's internally used by init. And then there's what I pass it. That gets caught here and becomes master. Then I'm going to make a frame and pass it master. I'm going to assign that to a variable called frame. Then this command here packs it all in so that we can see it on the screen. Wow. Well, what's the next thing I want to do? The next thing I want to do is I want to say self, uh, make a variable called a button, and make that equal to, I want to instantiate the button object, and I want it to go on the frame, comma, space, line continuation character, and I want to say next, I want text to be on that button that says, single quote, open db, open the database, comma, space, line continuation character. Now I want the foreground color on that to equal red, comma, space, line, continuation, character, and then I want, whenever you click on this button, the command it needs to execute equals, space, line, continuation, character, equals, and Self, yes, you have a method on your, in this program, called open. I'm going to write open in French, ouvrir. I think it's French. And I got gray. That's great. Hit enter. Now the next thing I want to do, I've just defined my button. I want to say self. He says yes. You know that button variable? Yeah. I want you to pack that button variable. And he says, pack it? Pack it where? On the frame. Okay. Now, what side do you want to put that button on? Well, the side I want to put it on is the left side. Close friends. I hit enter. And that's it. Well, so I've just defined my button, and what I need to do now is I need to define one more thing. I need to define the ouvrir method, the ouvrir fun function. Oh, it's in, a, it's in a class, so we have to call it a method. So I'm going to do that now. And hit the backspace once, and then I'm going to key in def -E define ouvrir, and pass it self. And here I'm going to say self. I want you to make a variable called com, 
stands for connection. And that's going to equal the following. Uh, SQLite, Mr. SQLite, guy who I just imported in, yes. I want you to connect to a database. Really? What database? Called, let's make up a good name. Ah, MadDB. That's a good name for a database. I like that. SQLite, three, connect to a database called MadDB. Well, that's wonderful. I like that a lot. Now, what if it doesn't exist? It will create it. Oh. All right. Then what do you want me to do? Well, let me scooch over a little bit to the left. Then, after you've connected to MadDB, self, this is what I want you to do. Make another variable called C-U-R. stands for cursor. That will be equal to self, yourself. Uh, specifically, self, it's going to be equal to this guy over here. That variable that just connected to the database. And I want it to run its cursor function, which gets a set of records. All the sets of Oops, I made a mistake there. Which uh, establishes uh, uh, this is the set of records that are in the uh, MadDB database, which I don't have any, of course, at this moment, but that will be assigned to CUR. So the cursor, the set of records associated with Khan, who is connected to the MadDB database, is now all that is assigned to CUR. Oh, well, that sounds intriguing. What do I do now? Nothing. That's it. Now, I'm going to hit the backspace two times. Come all the way down a little bit. And what I'm now going to do is put in those lines of code that we put in at the end of our other program, which was as follows. root equals tk, which grabs all the definitions and names in tk, enter, and assigns that to root. And then root title, space, line continuation character, will say dbase, rw read write so that's going to be on the title bar then the geometry of the root will be 500 along the x axis times 300 along the y axis so a good size frame and then i'm going to call app i'm going to take app and instantiate it and pass it root ah that will be my my uh, instantiated object my class, and it's going to be associated with root, which is associated now with the variable app. Now, Mr. Root, run your main loop. Keep doing this till I tell you to stop. And that's it. Now, let's run this. First, we'll have to save this file. Save as. And so let's see, what did we call it last time? We called it Z DB. No, we called it Z DB2. DB2. Dot. PY. PY. Okay. And that's it. Let's save this. And let's run this now and see what we get. Uh, you know what I'd like to do first? I'd like to take a look at where this is going to be set. Well, it's not there yet. It hasn't created this. Now, the point I'm getting at is this. When I click on the button, it's going to open up a database. Uh, uh, oh, pardon me. Go down to 
the method. It's going to connect to this guy and it's going to establish a set of records connected to MadDB. It's going to make this guy. Really? Yeah. So I want to see him after I do this. Okay, that's good. That's what I'll do then. I'll run this and then click on the button and see if it makes this mad db guy. Well, wait a minute. I've done this before. I could get into trouble. Hold on. Let me go over here to my computer. And let me go to my H drive. And go to Python 3. Python 3, whoops, there it is, Python 3, and let's see if I already have MadDB, because if I do, I want to delete him, H-I-J-K, MadDB, okay, there he is, so I'm going to delete him in a second, I want you to see this, I want you to see this. MadDB. Shift and delete. Goodbye. Confirm the delete of MadDB. Yes. This guy's now gone. I no longer have a MadDB here. Now, minimize this. I'm going to get him back in a second. And let's run this guy. Run. Run the module. Whoa! There's my database system. <laughs> it worked. Isn't that nice? Yeah, that's nice. Let me move it in a little bit. Okay, so we can see it. There's my OpenDB now. Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my uh, Python 3 back up here. I want to click about here. And make this a bit smaller. Scooch up a bit. All right. Move that offset it a bit. All right, now I'm going to click on OpenDB. Let's see if that pops up here. Here we go. I clicked on OpenDB and I'm over to here. I don't see it yet. Let me hit F5 and scooch on down here to the M's. Oh, look what we got. It made it. Amazing, right there. And zero kilobytes in this file. Wow. It worked. So, we just made our first database. There's no table in it, no records in it. All we've done is made the database itself. In the, in the next video, I'll make another button right here that'll make the table. And I'll delete this guy, then make the database, create the table inside of them, and that should make this a little bit bigger. And step by step we'll build this thing. Good? Good. Well, that's about it then for now. This is George Ball. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.